So I thought, I want to install internet down in my dungeon. So I thought, I've actually got an ethernet cable in the roof here. Um, <laughs> it's not terminated, unfortunately, but it goes, I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, it, it, it goes up in the roof and it goes all the way down the corridor and I've always wondered where it gone, where it goes. I assume it goes to the MDF, um, well not the MDF, but the uh, junction room down the end of the corridor here and then down the shaft right to the MDF room down in the basement. But I've never actually traced it, but now I've got a tool to actually trace this. So uh, I've got Cat5, this is Cat5e uh, cable. So I do believe it should be like a 70 meter, 80 meter, maybe 80 meter total length um, down to my dungeon um, via the MDF uh, room. But anyway, let's, yep, there we go. 20, basically 30 meters, 30 meters, there you go. So we've got 30 meters of cable. That is way more than just down to the corridor. It's only like 10, I don't know, like, 12 meters, maybe 15 tops down of the corridor. I could pace it out, but it's not far, maybe 15 meters. So I reckon this cable is going down. Um, I did estimate once, and it was about, I think, 30 meters down to the MDF room or something like that. I think this is actually going down um, into, the, in, into the MDF room, which is fantastic. Yep, so you can see how it fo it'll follow the twist. So I'm going to go down the corridor and have a squiz. So here's the, uh, I guess, like junction cupboard. I don't know what you call it at the end of the uh, corridor here. But uh, there you go. It's got all sorts of uh, stuff in here. It's got the patch panel there. And that's where a lot of the ethernet, you can see the blue ethernet uh, trunk in, come in from the, uh, down in the floor there. That goes right through the uh, cable guts of this thing. It, uh, anyway, so I'm going to go in there and have a squiz. See if I can find it. Got something. Yeah. You got that one. Pretty sure I found it. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Not, not that it matters. All I really care is that it actually goes down to the uh, basement. So, ooh, spooky. And here's Chris. He's at it. He's trying to trace the cable. Give us a smile, Chris. Okay. <laughs> He's trying to find it. He's using a uh, real cable tracer. It's a fluke jobby, of course. He reckons he had it. You, you get a sniff, but we assume that the cable comes down here somewhere, but you can never be sure. Murphy will ensure that it doesn't. But if you've got a sniff, has it like given false no, reading? It's no, it's 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 never. Good. Yeah. It's no, they go over to the that pipe now, fiber, fiber box over there, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. oh, heard something? No. It turns itself off the rotary. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we'll have to get back to you. Get back to you. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna believe it. We found it. It's we're down on the floor below, and it's just unterminated. Here, it's just flapping around in the breeze. Um, yeah. That's not 30 meters though. Yeah. What's going on? Wow. There yeah, you go. Just chuck an end on it. Yeah. Um, Maybe we'll patch from here. Down <laughs> patch from here down to the yeah. bottom. <laughs> All right. No worries. He's back again. Yeah. It was confirmed, right? Confirmed. Yep. It was. It went down to level. It went down to the lower and the next level down. Yeah. Unbelievable. Run a new cable. Yep. So yeah. So that's the plan. We run a new cable from here and we. Uh, and then we patch it to the Cat 5, Yeah. but it's only down, Cat 5. Down through the riser, <laughs> Yep. And then take it off that, and then straight to your storeroom, or the, the dungeon. Dungeon! Awesome! Let's do it! I think this would be easy. We're only going to go from here to the comms cupboard over there, but nope, there's a lot of stuff in the way. We found it. All right. Yep. 
got it. There's a huge aircon vent in the way. There's pipes. There's all sorts of stuff. It's really annoying. So we had to get under that. Chris, tell us how often do people fill in the, uh, the, the book, the record book? Let's have a look. <laughs> oh, how old is this? The answer is they don't. They don't. <laughs> no, never. No. Useless. So, what's, what's the point? I get yeah, yeah, it. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh, he's going up with the drill again. <laughs> he's, he's, he's doing it properly. He's got the conduit, the whole works. Plug my ears. Check it out. This is one of Chris's tools. It's a uh, conduit bender. It's the exact diameter to go into uh, conduit and you use it for bending the conduit. Cool. I didn't know that was a issue, but apparently it is. So you use this little springy tool to do it. Fantastic. We're snakey snake. I was going to say, show us your arms. <laughs> Filthy as. It's car parks. Just, yeah, car parks. Classic. But, Just soot everywhere. <laughs> now comes the fun part. We pulled Terminate. all the cables. So do you prefer sparky work or do you prefer comms work? Oh, mix it up. Mix it up, yeah. Why is the spice of life? It depends. Like, I suppose everything's going towards uh, smart and automation. So yep. Data's a bit of a, I don't know, foundation again. So what do you think the total, well, we'll be able to find out what the total run length is, won't mm. we? We'll be able to measure it. I reckon about 80, less than 80. Maybe 80. All right. 64. 64, all right. Nice binary multiple there. Yeah. Yeah, all right, 64 meters. Let's see if you're right. Should have brought my crone tool. Oh, yeah, what? Sort of snap stuff at the same time. Oh, okay. But it's in my van. Ah. Oh. Going old school. Electricians, we don't clean up. <laughs> it's all right, I've got a broom. A sweeper. Do a vacuum. Look at that, it's like I bought one. And Bobby Dazzler. Got to find a spare pair and of course they're not going to be labelled well. <laughs> so you're looking at the one that's not just on going one, elsewhere. Just on one side. So right. See all the cables come down and get terminated on the top set and then yep. from the bottom set come out and patch to whatever wherever else. else you want to patch your pairs to so I reckon that's that's us there all right would that physically match upstairs as well maybe <laughs> maybe <laughs> so we're just going to install a temporary patch so that we can hook onto one end and then find the pair at the other end and uh, once we're done that should be sweet to patch in the whole thing and uh, we, we've run C CAT6 um, cable you know, from the lab to the comms cupboard on the level, but there's only CAT5, not even CAT5E, I believe it's original CAT5, uh, multi-pair stuff running, that's the big blue trunky wires at the back, that are uh, running uh, down through the uh, building, does it have a name? Corridor? What? Riser. Riser. 49 metres, that is definitely not it's getting patched through into someone else's possibly yeah you know. but it's definitely not used down here though so it's yeah so it is it's got to be patched somewhere else so it's probably going to someone's office maybe yeah yeah feeling lucky feeling lucky all right oh yes oh yes look look it's not quite determination error up on oh, the riser. It? See that? It's not quite oh, joined. Oh, okay. Yep. So if we were to go and test it, we won't get a good speed because yep. it's an open open circuit. Right. But if I re-terminate that. Sweet. 66 meters. 66. To the riser. So then there's another probably 20 meters to go. Yep. All to right. your office. So. so, but we're still under, well under the 100, we're which is the nominal. The yeah. But yeah. Ethernet works beyond 100 anyway, so... They, they advise 100 for the run, and then you've got 
Oh, room okay. For the patch leads as well. Got it. So, so yeah, this yeah, is we're good to go. Yeah, good to go. We are done. We finally found a spare pair. It took a couple of goes, didn't it? Yeah. Chrome tool's good for this because this chops it off as well. Yep. Oh, I don't. I've left my chrome tool in the van. So in the van, and we couldn't be bothered going up to the van to get yeah. that many trips on the lift. So. Yep. All right, well, we'll find out what our data rate is very shortly. Here we go. We've got the final run. You said 64, but you did hedge it to 68. And I so I can't remember what I said. Eight, I, I'll have to watch the video again, glare on the screen. 85.2 85 med, 85 meters. Let's test it. And test it. Come on. We got a gigabit. A gigabit. Where's the actual value? Oh, okay, it doesn't actually give you the exact value. It just, it just tells you it's gigabit capable. You got a gigabit. I got a gigabit. All right. Thank you very much, Chris. You're welcome. Champion.